Okay guys, so today we're going to be taking a look at mind types and we're going to go ahead and take a look at a library which can help you work with mind types in JavaScript. And then we'll also take a look at a website where you can get mind types. So this program here just shows you a few of the different functionalities of this library called MIME. So you can see it's really easy. You can put in a string here and most likely you would get this from FS or something like that. So you would be able to put either just txt or a full file name or uh, the full file name with the path as well. And it would all go ahead and be able to get the mind type. And then maybe you could have some kind of check to say if it's this mind type, then the file is allowed, else it's not. And we can also get the extension from the mind type. And if there's a mind type that is not there, or you have created your own, then you can also go ahead and add it like this. And then you can actually go ahead and get the type of this. But note there are some reserved keywords. So you have to find a mind type that is not reserved. But there is a different way of doing this. And I don't know if that one just can override it. But you will have to take a look at that on the docs. But let's quickly take a look at this application here. And you can see that it generates all these outputs, which is what I've wrote over here. So generally a very simple package, but it actually works really well as you can see, and it's very lightweight as well. But if you don't want to do it the programmatic way, then you can also just go ahead and log on the Mozilla web docs, which they have a really good list here of all of the different mind types. You can see the file extension and name and then the mind type. So if you like this video, hit the thumbs up button and the subscribe button. If you want to see more of my videos, I have included two videos right here and hopefully I see you in the next one.